All new at 10, what you're seeing behind me, this is human waste that was dumped near the Severe River a month ago, and tonight it still hasn't been cleaned up. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jamie McGriff. I'm Heidi Hatch. The issue now is who's responsible for cleaning up this nasty mess. Jim Spiewak live tonight. And Jim, local, state, even federal agencies have been briefed on this. Yeah, you talked about that human waste that was dumped near the river there and everything that comes with it. You might think that this is a simple cleanup, but it's really turned out to be anything. But however, the effort to at least get a crew to that dump site has now started. There's over a thousand gallons they dumped down there. A few miles south of the town of Hatch, off a dirt road along the Severe River lies piles of human waste. Authorities say it was dumped there about a month ago. And I'm a little frustrated when the people that live here come to me and say, when are they going to get that where it's safe to get in the water? And I don't have an answer for them. Hatch's mayor, Jim Kabonik, says that he's frustrated the cleanup effort has taken so long. I want the people that did it to pay, but that's... That's second to me. I just want it cleaned up. And I want it, some assurance that it's safe. The land where the waste was dumped is state trust owned. Joe Adams, a spokesperson with the Garfield County Sheriff's Office, says it's technically the state's responsibility to clean it up. He says it was determined on a conference call just last night that the state would contract that out. There's been kind of a, a, a discussion as to how best to get that done and how that best makes sense to the taxpayer. Adam says it was determined early on that the river was safe and they had tips on who might be responsible and afterward they had to essentially preserve a crime scene. So it's, it's been at the forefront of what we what we want to do and what we want to see done uh, but as a law enforcement agency finding those responsible and holding them accountable uh, was definitely number one. So again, this happened in Garfield County, not far from Bryce Canyon National Park. Three people have been arrested already, and they've been charged with multiple counts of discharge of pollute pollutants and obstruction of justice, both of them third degree felonies. Now, the sheriff's office is telling us that this is still under investigation and additional charges may be forthcoming sometime this week. We're live tonight, Jim Spiewak, KUTV2 News.